Ex-corporate, we have Brigade Enterprise as well as stocks in focus on the back of the quarter three numbers. The bookings as well as volumes have seen a decline both on a year-on-year -year as well as on a sequential basis. Though year-to-date, the numbers have looked quite good. Mr. Jay Shankar, the CMD at Brigade uh, Enterprises, joins us to fill us in with the last quarter's fine print and the way ahead. Hi, morning, Mr. Jay Shankar. Thanks so much for joining in. Well, I, I, I wanted some uh, guidance on three parameters. One is your sales volumes. What do you end this year with? You're at around 3.2 uh, million square feet. You have achieved sales volumes of close to around 2,000 crores. What did they end the year with? And your realizations as well, at around 6,300 rupees. Where's that headed? Uh, good morning. Na naturally, the, this uh, Q3, the volumes were slightly down, primarily because uh, some of the new launches uh, could not uh, happen as uh, the authorities uh, were not uh, approving uh, in the last quarter due to also some high court order. Uh, generally, not for us in general. Now the, those uh, those issues are behind us, and we hope to launch about uh, 2.4 million square feet in Q4 and uh, Q1 of uh, uh, FI 23. So naturally, the desire is to exceed uh, last year's uh, volumes, and uh, we have the stock. And only January was a bit of a dampener because of uh, uh, the lockdowns and uh, uh, you know uh, third wave issues. But I think things should uh, look up again. And uh, we uh, hope to do better than last year in general. So, and already pro profitability has uh, improved, yeah. primarily because our uh, hotels have turned uh, turn around. And uh, the office, we have uh, done some good uh, leasing in the last uh, quarter. And uh, even the retail uh, had uh, uh, looked up quite a bit. You know, Mr. Jay Shankar, uh, yeah, uh, yeah. quite a few of those details that are giving us, you know, it's there in your presentation. But the key number okay. that, that we're looking at is last year, you did around 4.6 million square feet. For this year, do you think that number can be closer to around 5 million square feet? You know, give, me a, give us a rough number and also the sales number. You're already at around, what, 2,000 crores in the nine months. What do you end this year with? Please go ahead. I, I can only say we are uh, hoping to cross it. It is generally... Uh, a bit difficult to give a very cl clear picture, but we are hoping to cross it. And uh, we have two months to go. And uh, as I said, the January is a bit uh, tough. And uh, let's hope uh, the next two months are uh, good. Generally, we don't give too much of guidance. So I, I think uh, the, the future should always be better than uh, the past. And uh, we have a, a very good uh, budget by the finance minister. So that, that should also... Uh, generally uh, improve the sentiment uh, in the market, real estate and rest of the e economy. Sir, can you give us some numbers on the hospitality segment? Because over there, the occupancy uh, reached pre-COVID levels in December. It had improved to about 60%. But then we saw Omicron hit as well. There was an impact in Jan. Uh, for the quarter to come, which is Q4, uh, or rather, you know, the end, the last quarter of the year, uh, do you think the hospitality segment could get hit in terms of earnings? And what is the prognosis now? Uh, see, January was definitely a stake and a hit in uh, hospitality across uh, the country. And uh, particularly the international travel uh, is again pushed to end of uh, from December to January and January to February now, other than the bubble uh, tra travel. So, but, but now that lockdown, the weekend lockdowns are lifted, uh, the occupancies are inching up. This is the uh, first weekend, probably, you can say, uh, you know, the post uh, weekend lockdown. So we need to see. But generally, it should be better. February, March is uh, certainly good months. And we hope uh, the government will, uh, you know, lift the international travel restrictions. Uh, otherwise, uh, we have done uh, quite well in uh, hospitality. Uh, the, there is a general AGOP as, uh, uh, you know, substantially uh, improved compared to the previous uh, uh, quarter and uh, so, so also the lease rentals and uh, uh, you know our uh, uh, le leasing uh, mall occupancy. Sure, sure. Can you give us the numbers? What was the occupancy in Q4 uh, so far? What has it been? And what is the average uh, ARR that you are looking at? Uh, see, the ARR has gone up by about 21% uh, uh, in uh, Q3 as compared to Q2. And uh, the occupancies were about 59% uh, uh, as compared to 45% in the previous quarter. And uh, this is the general across eight hotels, including uh, two hotels which uh, started just before the COVID of uh, uh, you know, March 2020. 
So the, the, those, uh, the one in uh, Gift City, Gujarat, had uh, started two months before, and also well, one other hotel uh, also had uh, started just before then, the one in uh, Holiday Inn Express in Bangalore. So I, I think uh, including those uh, new hotels, our uh, average occupancy is 59%. If you exclude that, it is uh, uh, more, more than 67% uh, or so. Okay, all right. Your portfolio ERR is at 70% of pre-COVID levels. When does it uh, get closer to around that 100% odd levels? Which quarter could you guide for? And also your debt number, that's come down. You know, it's at around 2,800 crores. Cost of borrowing as well has come down to around 7.8%. Outlook on uh, these parameters as well? Yeah, I think uh, our debt levels will uh, continue to come down. Uh, I expect it, particularly in residential, it is, uh, uh, it is just 0.14% uh, uh, is the debt level, 0.014 to, uh, you know, to 1. Uh, in a residential segment. In case uh, we uh, take up more uh, projects in the le le leasing segment, uh, the debt levels may uh, slightly go up. And uh, the interest rates are, uh, uh, you know, hopefully likely to remain in that, uh, 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 the, the, that level. I hope so. And uh, though, though the market is, uh, interest market is showing a little bit of uh, upward trend. So I hope uh, banks will not uh, immediately increase the interest rates. Okay, so we leave it at that. All the best. Um, your Q3 volumes would, uh, you know, hit a bit because of the delay of new launches. I guess that's expected considering uh, the Omicron wave. But now things are better. So all the best for FY23. That's the word coming in from Brigade.